Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike DeRay, a live sound engineer transitioning to music production. If this is your first time at this channel, welcome. And today we're gonna to be talking about everything Ableton Live. So if you're a first time user or a new user to Ableton Live, in this video, we're gonna be going through some shortcuts that can help you speed up your workflow and make you optimize your music production. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, here we are guys, into this Ableton Live session. Um, this is something I've been working on. I worked on it overnight on a stream. Um, so I haven't saved it yet, as you can see here, it's still untitled. So that leads us to our first shortcut, which is Command or Control if you're on Windows, S. This is great for you to save your projects and rather than you having to click through the file menu and scroll down and search, obviously you know the command, you could just do it every so often in your session. Like as soon as you've done something new or you, you feel like you've made a bit of progress, just Command S or Control S. That is your first shortcut, Command S. I'm on a Mac, so a lot of my shortcuts will be Command or Command Option. In Windows, it's the exact same thing, but Control and Control Alt, I believe. We're gonna start off with a group of shortcuts that I learned from an amazing producer on YouTube. He goes by the name of Andrew Huang. And it's basically Limbo. So if you can spell Limbo, L-I-M-B-O, I think. Yeah, Limbo. So what this is, there are a number of functions that work with Limbo. So here's the session I've been working on. I've got my groups here. Uh, let's open up this melody. Let's say I've been working on this section here and I want to sort of figure out what's going on with it. I can just select this region and then I hit Command L. Now up here, you can see these brackets have formed and this bracket has also been highlighted. What this means is it's engaged your loop in this region that you, or in this clip that you've selected. So this should just loop back around just like that. And what's great about the loop function is it works for anything. So let's say I pick this and that. So that's all selected. I hit Command L, the loop region adjusts. And that's just Command L. Now we do Command I. What that does is it inserts the certain amount of time you have highlighted. If you don't highlight any amount of time, Ableton will ask you how much time do you wanna put in? And it's in bars, beats, and divisions, I believe. But yeah, so that's Command I. Now, Command M is your macro. I, I believe this is your macro activation. So you hit Command M and then you can select things and map it to a macro if you, or MIDI or a MIDI control if you have that patched. Okay, so Command B, That this is our next shortcut, Command B. So I'm here in a MIDI clip. I've got this blue headphone here highlighted, enabling me to hear the MIDI notes. If I want to draw in MIDI notes, I'm gonna have to double click. And that could be a bit tedious. Sometimes it's better to just click and once and go. For this, we need the pencil tool. And that is your command B. Literally, command B. And you get your pencil tool. Command B to take it off and you're back to your arrow tool. We have command O. This is a generic one that works in pretty much most applications. It is open, so you would use Command O to open a file. Okay guys, that was your first round of shortcuts. Command L for loop, I for insert time, M 
for midis or macros? Let me know in the comments which one. B for your pencil tool and O to open your files. This is your first round. But now we've got a second round of Limbo. This is another set of commands that you can access using that same word. Okay, let's jump back into the door and crack on with the shortcuts. Let's say you're going through your session, you wanna see what certain MIDI's are doing, what certain plugins are up to. You select it, hit Option Command and L. And that brings up your detail panel, your lower panel. And then you could go through, look at your MIDI, see what's going on. You could also access your plugin view from here as well, but we'll save that for a little bit later. Option Command L to bring it up and Option Command L to get rid of it. That's your first one. Now Option Command I. As you can see here, Option Command I on your arrangement window brings up or puts away your ins and outs, your IOs. So this is where you would do most of your routing. You know, you wanna send certain channels to certain buses or patch them into groups, stuff like that. That's your option command I, and that brings that up or puts it away. The next one is option command M. This deals with your mixer. So your mixer is what you use to enable, disable, solo, and then obviously mix your volumes, pan in, and your sends. Option Command M hides your mixer or brings it up to the forefront. This next one is a favorite of mine. Option Command B. This brings up your browser. And your browser is where you have all your samples, all your sample packs, uh, your plugins, your effects, your audio effects, even drum patches, your drum rack, and even down to things like your sounds. And this search bar here is so powerful. So let's say I'm in my sound section here and I type in bell. All the patches or sounds that come with a bell in, in its label, no pun intended, will come up in the search bar. So rather than you having to look through certain categories, you can just enable all your sounds in your cat in your sounds category and search via their names. That was a bonus tip for you, but the shortcut, option command B. This brings up your browsers, samples, all of that stuff. And midis and audios in all Ableton is drag and drop. So you find it, drag it and drop it into your session and Ableton takes care of the rest. Option Command O brings up your overview. This, this thing at the top here. So this is just to get a, literally an overview of your session. So you can see what's happening, what's going on. And also it replicates the color. So if you have your sessions color coded, that color code that color coordination will be replicated here in your overview. Yeah, guys, so we've just gone through our second round of shortcuts. Let me know if you found anything new. If you're new to Ableton, let me know if this is helpful stuff. Um, we've got one more round of shortcuts to go, but this is just gonna be generic stuff that you probably may have heard of, but you need a fresh reminder, you know, to keep you, to keep you on your toes, so check these shortcuts out. So if you're new to Ableton, we have two views, two main views in Ableton. Our arrangement view, which is more similar to the linear production style, and our loop view. This is where we see all of our instruments and clips of the performances. So we can cue individual clips of our performances. Now, what people will usually tell you to do is to switch through the views in this, um, uh, through with these bars in the top, top right, but there's a much quicker way to switch through them, which is simply tab. If you press the tab button on your keyboard, it switches through the views. Now tab is, is, a, is a cheat code in Ableton because it also enables you to go through something else. Now. Here we are, 
if you remember uh, uh, in the last round we t said com option command l to bring up the lower panel or the detail the detail window so here i am in the lower panel the detail window let's select something with midi we'll go back to my 808s now i'm here in the midi but let's say i want to go to the plugin I'm gonna scroll over here and click the plugin here to get to it. And then if I wanna go back to my MIDI, I'll do that. Or shift tab. Shift tab switches through plugin to clip. Plugin to clip. Or if you're coming from somewhere like Logic, it goes from your plugin to your region, your plugin to your region. Your region's where you would have your audio file or your audio waves or your MIDI your MIDI notes. So yeah, shift tab. Quick way to switch from your plugin to your MIDI or audio, vice versa, on whatever track you're selected on. So if I'm on, on my drums here, I don't have a plugin because it's raw audio in here, so it's blank. If I go over here to some of my pad stuff and select one of the clips, here's the clip. This takes you to your plugin. You can open up your plugin, see what's going on there, close it down, back to your MIDI. Yeah, and then back to your arrangement view. Now, I've got one last one for you guys. I'm going to throw this in. This one caught me a bit off guard by surprise because I, I stumbled on it on accident or by accident. I was trying to press one of my shortcuts, the option or uh, the option command shortcut, and I moved my trackpad with two fingers. And then this happened. So you can resize any track by holding option command. And this works in the main screen, but it also works in your MIDI. Yeah guys, so that's been our shortcuts and workflow hacks in Ableton Live 11. I hope you guys have learned something new. If not, let me know if I've missed out some things that you know about that I haven't included. If this is new to you, let me know what has been your favorite shortcuts so far. And also, let me know where you're watching this from. If this is your first time, please, I encourage you to like and subscribe, share this with anybody else that's starting their Ableton journey. And let me know where you're watching this from, whatever city or country, let me know and I'll be in the comments getting to know you guys. Thank you once again, it's your boy, Mike DeRay, and I'll see you at the next stop. Peace.